frontline Ukrainian soldiers have told the BBC the army needs to rethink how it conscripts men to fight. They say that a failure to train and mobilize enough recruits means some have been fighting without a break since Russia's full-scale invasion more than two years ago. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse has the story. Under the green canopy of a Ukrainian spring, an artillery unit waits for their next order. Some of these men have been fighting for months, if not years. My men know each vehicle, says their commander. It's like a woman with her own characteristics. As Russian forces inch closer, they're hunkering down and waiting for billions of dollars worth of long-delayed American ammunition to finally be delivered. This time last year, Ukraine was preparing for a counter-offensive, but this time it's different. They're preparing for what might be coming. This ammunition will help, but Ukraine is also grappling with trying to mobilize enough men to replace these ones. Kyiv is widening the cooler page, but radio operator Alexander, who works and lives in this bunker, thinks it's more than just a numbers game. If we all go home, inexperienced soldiers might be able to hold the line, but a lot of them will die. In the nearby city of Kramatorsk, Ilya, a frontline medic, tells me officials are not honest with recruits who were thrown into the front line indefinitely with little training. He thinks there should be a limit on the toughest deployments. It would be more true and effective if military recruitment office would say, guy, you will, uh, you will have super hard job, infantry, but for, for example, for half a year. And then you'll go to uh, next level training and you'll got more, more specific tasks to do. Ministers are trying to restore trust in the way the army recruits, whilst turning up the pressure for men to sign up. Inesov Soon is a Kiev MP whose partner is fighting, and she thinks there are enough men to swap in and out from the front line. There are more people who are not serving than those who are serving. And the numbers is not even one to one, it's a much bigger ratio. Just how much by the fact, you know, with the fact your husband, your partner is serving, how much has that shaped your view? Of course, my understanding is shaped by, by who I am, by the fact that I, you know, spend countless nights worrying about where my partner is, if he is okay, and so on and so forth. It's an anxiety shared by millions of Ukrainians. Tired soldiers are torn between needing to defend their country and wanting to go home. James Waterhouse, BBC News, the Donetsk region.